What's poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We got ourselves some Bloom Lord mirrors over on the top tables. We've got Johnny, despite his best efforts, he's just allergic to losing, and as a result, back on stream. And another Bloom Lord player gonna be sitting right across from him. She's gonna build up in the back with the Ayatar, and it does seem like right side Bloom Lord missing. That level 5, Mimi out on the left. And that's going to be setting the memory up for the next turn. I kind of like the passive play. Both the Bloom Laws kind of playing a little bit scared, I guess. The extra draw is going to be coming in from the Palmon, as we have seen as an option, really, as an extender. Just get cards in hand for consistency. And speaking of consistency, the green memory boost is going to come down. Going to find the level 4, which means we definitely do have a body. And instead chooses to go for the red Vegemon. Definitely wanting to go second. So we are going to see the Ayatar to play out a body. We're going to see the Vegemon. Which next turn is going to be giving her over the extra memory. And we're going to see the green memory boost. Which is going to find the Bloom Lord. Samadhi Santi going to the bottom of the deck though. And the question is, how does she extend from here? They do have the level 5, so they could tap the Mimi to try and set up a rookie in the back. And we're going to also see a red Vegemon in response. But no redirector, so I don't know how I feel about this. Ayatar is going to bring us down to one memory. Going to play out the Pomumon and an HPD. We're going to see some Mario Party action. Now the question is, can the player on the left... React to this uh, Warrior Wear, <laughs> this Warrior Wear minigame. Gonna swing over the Red Vegemon, HPD the Palmon, and we're gonna go into Bloom Lord. Gonna gain back four memory and swing over the Ayatar, which is gonna be for a two checks piercing, three checks piercing, and a second Bloom Lord. Gonna swing over two piercing, HPD to hand, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Not actually seeing the Mimi. And this is kind of why I wanted to see the Mimi actually picked up. And we are, we're just going to scoop for game one. All right, game number two. I did actually forget to mention that uh, this is using the Ultimate Cup, the April 1st Mulligan rules. So the players were drawing their hands first and then going for security. I do love the Floral Palmon in the back, something that we actually also saw in Johnny's list as well, that used the top eight, the Ultimate Cup. We're seeing a lot of Bloom Lord on the top table, so I figured it's finally time to stop dodging the matchup. We are gonna see plenty of Bloom Lord on the channel from now on. The man that just simply refuses to lose. Gonna build up a Mimi of his own and a level 5 stack in the back. No Mem Tamer this time from our player on the left. But she is gonna drop the Palmon. Definitely a risk. I'm gonna take the Vegetation and the Bloom Lord Fairy. Go over to 5. And we are going to suspend with the Ayatar. Not actually sure what suspended the Palmon, but a whole bunch of oh the Parasaur inherit right okay, and we're just using Digisorption, setting up the download. Gonna gain back three restand. Should be able to swing over the Palmon here, but first gonna tap and get that Mushroomon going. Gonna swing over and that will be well, two checks. Committing to the board really is just so dangerous in this matchup. You can see. The Johnny clearly played this matchup a lot. I think we see it, the mirror, at least once every session. 
And the problem is we don't see anything on the board just yet. I would like to see, yeah, the Palmon search. Not sure what we're going to look for. Possibly going to go into the Sunflower. Sunflower get the suspend, helps the board go wide. The problem is you need to swing over the Bloom Lord, or maybe even go into Hydra. Okay, we are going to go into the Bloom Lord, get the suspend. And then we're going to go over the Bloom Lord in order to kill it. And that's going to be two checks of her own. But the problem is you now need to find a way to get rid of the Blossom on. memory team in there as well. It's really, really difficult. Just going to go for the green memory boost. Not going to commit too many bodies to the board. Trying to see what she's looking for. Still no Mimi though. We do see the Bloom Lord in hand. Going to swing over the Palmon, interestingly enough. I thought for sure he was going to set that up. But I guess he's looking to just crash into the Bloom Lord. So going to go for the Ayatar. Just spend that in order to play the Palmon. Crack the men boost, go up to two. We got a sunflower, suspend that in order to play a second body and get searching. Just the combo piece is so, so quick. You can't even argue that left side player did anything wrong in the way that they did it. So we are going to get the suspension, which pushes all the way back over to one. And that's going to be the rest of the checks. Mimi's already tapped though. So how do you have game from here? You go into Hydra. And pass over. It's just. He really just is that guy. So, so consistent. So, so confident. Cherry Mon in the back. And everything. It's looking so doomed. Do let me know what you think of the map, though. But it looks like we are going to see the scoop. I think they're just going to go over some uh, combos on how they could have done things differently. But that'll be for their eyes only. Thank you guys for making it this far and watching over the video. If you haven't already, make sure to bounce that like and subscribe button. We'll be back with more Locals action from Fanboy 3. We'll see you next time.